Greetings, gang. How you doing? Adam Rafferty here, funky finger style guitarist, originally from New York City. And in today's video, I'm going to play you the jazz classic Cherokee. I'm going to try to improvise a solo for you on my new uh, Yamaha Revstar with P90s and a Beatles guitar strap hanging off the edge. So Cherokee was written in 1938 by Ray Noble. It's also called Indian Love Song. And he recorded it with his big band. And at the time, this is what it sounded like. And sometime around 1939, according to Wikipedia, it became a number one hit. Alert! There has been misinformation in this video, and I apologize. It was number 15 on the Billboard charts, not number one. Back to our program. So you have to imagine, like the pop music of its day, people knew this song. And I think that's a reason that jazz musicians grabbed hold of it and would play it on gigs because, hey, it was popular. It was well known. Charlie Parker played this tune in 1942 and made an incredible recording of it where his solo just kind of defines this new language of bebop, the way he's phrasing over the changes. And I think that was the signal to a lot of jazz musicians, we got to play this tune. And so this has become a tune that even today is called at jazz jam sessions. I've played it hundreds of times. And it presents some formidable challenges, formidable challenges. One, you can really cook on this and play it way up tempo. So that's challenge one. Challenge two is there's all sorts of chord changes in the bridge to negotiate and to try to hit them accurately. Some of the classic recordings of this, and by no means is this all of them, but I urge you to check out Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker and Dizzy playing a tune called Coco, which the solos are based on the changes of Cherokee. Clifford Brown, trumpet player, it's classic, his version of it. Stan Getz, and there's a number of Sonny Stitt recordings you got to check out Sonny Stitt. Guitarists who've played it. Well, let's see. There's Chet Atkins, Django Reinhardt, Martin Taylor. And if you want to hear two of the modern day virtuosos right here on YouTube, absolutely burn this thing down. Check out Pasquale Grasso and Josh Meter. They're both incredible. So I come back to playing Cherokee again and again. And now, since I'm using my thumb instead of a guitar pick, I've kind of been using this song as a vehicle for practicing because I have all those challenges of tempo, playing over chord changes, all that. So here we go. I hope you enjoy Cherokee. Ooh. 